guys, this is Ozzy here again with another lifestyle deal for you guys. Today we are going to be reviewing a watch that I purchased from Touch of Modern. This is not an endorsement, uh, I'm just telling you guys what I bought, where I bought it from, how I bought it and what led me to buy it. So this is a watch called the Giorgio Fidone 1919 PCA Automatic Watch. I have already unboxed it, sorry. I'm. I should have done an unboxing with you guys, but I had to check it. So I did an unboxing, but I'm gonna re-unbox it for you guys again. So similar experience, uh, minus some of the plastics, but bear with me. So it comes in this black cardboard box. Underneath it is the actual box that holds the watch. As you can see, it's got a black wood finish. Has the Giorgio Fidon label on it, 1919. Now, this is a relatively new brand in terms of watches. They are well known for their leather products dating back to 1919, but recently they've started making a huge selection of watches. Some of them have been pretty good and they've gotten some good reviews online too. So this is one of them and uh, I'll just show it to you guys first. So remove this plastic, it came in this bag, but took it out so this is what it looks like it's got a very nice leather coated box with an orange yellow accent comes with this international warranty card so you have that it's got a two-year international warranty by the way so so this is it how it looks like it's a very nice stainless steel finish dress watch as you can see it's got automatic movement, it has a 40 hour power reserve, stainless steel case, and stainless steel silver tone bracelet. As you can see, the back is transparent, so you can see the automatic movement going in. And basically guys, this is, uh, it is powered by a Seiko movement. This is a Japanese automatic movement, very robust, very reliable, and it is, without a doubt, one of the more reliable movements out there. So it's, in all its sense, it's a Seiko with a different designer label on it. So you can see it fits the wrist perfectly. I did do some adjustments for putting this on. It has the second marker going with an orange accent on the tip so that you can easily see the second marker. And the hour hands and the minute hands are luminescent. So this means that at night, you can view them very clearly if they have been charged enough in sunlight or by artificial lighting enough. It has a date function. So uh, that's there on the three o'clock marker. And it's a very nice black dial. And on top of it has the silver accents for all of its markers. So, and the crystal is also a very nice, uh, it's not sapphire, it's a hard lex crystal, which is also not a bad choice. Uh, I mean, at this price point, you really can't go much further. I wanted to show you guys this crown. It has some detailing on it, very nice, 1919. It does not appear to wind when you move it around, but I guess it's an automatic self winder in this case, so. That's this watch in itself. It's not a very heavy watch. The bracelet itself is quite light, but the case has a decent amount of weight on it. And it's perfect for, you know, casual wear or dress wear or, you know, formal wear. Basically, it's like an everyday watch. You can use in almost any circumstance. Every circumstance suits this watch, except for maybe a very, very casual outing. It's not, it does not have an outdoorsy look on it. So, yeah, I mean, and can be like, you know, just going to work or just hanging out on weekends. Perfect for that. Also on the bracelet end, you can see again, their label on there. It has some nice detailing on it. And yeah, so I mean, I've been, I've only worn this like just once today and it was pretty nice, feels really nice on the wrist and I totally like it. I, it retails for about $300 on their website. I can no longer find it on their website, on Georgie Fidon's own website, mind you. I believe this model may have been discontinued. It's uh, on Amazon around in the 100 to 150 range, but I bought it from Touch of Modern, Touch of Modern for about 
much less than that. It was around like $90. So it was a pretty good deal, I believe. And for a Seiko movement on a designer label, not bad at all. So, so that's what it is. Tell me guys how you liked my video, how I did. And if you have more details about this watch or if you'd like to let me know more, feel free to comment and let me know. Until then, take care.